Hello everyone. So a few days ago I posted this animation on Instagram and today I'm going to show you how to create this little thing here at the bottom. So we are going to create this parametric curve and also the text or whatever you want. Basically it could be geometric shapes or text, whatever, moving around this parametric curve. So to create the curve, we are going to use a JavaScript shape, which is a perfect feature in Calvary, just so you know, and we will need some code, but don't worry, even if you are a dummy like me who doesn't understand how to code and doesn't understand, you know, math, you know, all those formulas, etc you will be able to do it and I will show you how and we'll start with the discord you know obviously uh, already someone posted something here so that someone is Yevgeny Makarov uh, he posted this message almost uh, yeah like more than a year ago so there are a few of the um, shapes that we can create with the code that he provided is uh, parametric curves, paragraph, wireframe, smooth corners, etc. So you just need to download this archive and unzip it on your computer and you will get those JavaScript files. So you can open it in a text editor. I use Sublime Text and then you'll just need to copy it. So let's have a look at how it works in Calvary. So we'll copy the code and we'll create a JavaScript shape and then we'll remove all the code here and paste our code. So we don't want to use the fill, we want to use the stroke and I'll make it brighter color so we can see what's going on. And so basically here you could already be happy or maybe like edit some settings of the JavaScript shape. So if you go into the JavaScript tab, you can, you know, edit the width, the height and, you know, a few other parameters. You can add some axis by typing through you know, so you can edit all of those things and you can obviously edit the formulas that define the curve to get different types of curves. And here we can do a gradient and then animate a trim, for instance, to shape sort of drawed in, but it's not uh, what I wanted to show you. So there's something like a specific effect uh, that I wanted to do in my animation that you see here. So I wanted to bring this shape sort of like alive. So it's not like very static. And that's why we are going to do what we are going to do. So let's create an ellipse with this tool and we'll set the size to five and then we'll add it into a duplicator. And then we'll use a path as a distribution for our duplicator. And obviously the JavaScript shape is going to be an input shape here and we'll set the um, count to something like 2000. You might need to like increase, decrease this number based on your shape. So you have enough copies to cover all the um, areas, you know. So I'll just organize this a little bit and yeah, so basically if you want to get this gradient uh, sort of style, you can use an index to color utility. So you can type uh, here with a quick menu and get the index to color and then set up the gradient. But since I don't wanna, you know, spend time to setting up this again, I'll just copy it here. So we have the index to color with the gradient that we want and then we just connect it to the ellipse shape. And now we have our JavaScript shape with a gradient, but nothing is going on. We'll need a frame for that later, but let's first start with the letters. We'll create a text shape and put any letter here. Then we change the font to whatever we want and then change the size, center. And then we'll also create another ellipse shape, which we'll use sort of as the background uh, for our text shape. So we'll make this beige and uh, the letter will be black and then we'll group it. And then we also need to create a string array that will draw, uh, that will basically give us the letters to our, you know, to form the word that we want. So we'll add more strings and type and oops sorry enter g i need one more and then we'll connect the string array into the text shape so this is all pretty basic i already showed this in previous tutorials now i'll just add it into the duplicator and this duplicator will also be path and we'll also use the same shape and we'll set the amount to six bits because that's the amount of our letters and we'll turn off the rotation. We want them all, you know, facing the same way. And I also going to reduce the length to five. So 
all of our letters are sort of forming the word. Like, obviously, you can change this and animate this parameter to create something fun. I'll show you this later. There are actually uh, quite a few examples that I wanted to show you uh, with this. What you can do with this, you know, method. But for now, let's focus on this one. So right now, if we want to animate, you know, the gradient moves and the word move, we just need to add a frame behavior into the travel. There are always multiple ways to do things in Calvary, but you know, this is the one that we're gonna use now. And I'll slow it down to 0 0.3. And now the word is moving, but the gradient is not. That's why we need to create it also. I cannot see it. Like, so basically, yeah, we need to also create, connect it to the travel here. Now the gradient and the word moves all the same, but what's happening is like, we cannot read the energy when it's moving uh, from, right to left uh, so we want to fix that so we'll add sort distribution on top of the input distribution of the path and we'll yeah we don't even need to do anything here now because it's already sorted horizontally uh, so this method might not work if you have like a different shape you might need to you know do some other tricks but in this case it works it's sorting our letters automatically now whether it goes from left to right from right to left it's always going to be uh, sorted we created the shape and the only thing that i wanted to add here is the shape position oscillation again i'm using oscillators here just to you know for the easiness obviously you can also keyframe those position like those um, values to make it you know more unique or you know to create a specific motion that you want so anyways we're gonna add an oscillator on the duplicator shape y position the values will just keep it to minus 10 and 10, assign normal, and we'll reduce the time scale to make it a bit slower and add a stagger. So oscillation of each of those duplicates happen at a little bit, you know, different time and bam, it's ready. And so now we created the animation that I wanted to show you, uh, but of course I did a lot of other experiments and I wanted to show you a few other ideas. We can create this sort of vertical coil. We can distribute text going like this and we can create different types of the um, Lissajou uh, shape. So what's the Lissajou shape? I asked ChatGPT and it said it's a beautiful looping patterns that appear when you graph system of two perpendicular harmonic oscillations so blah 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 it gives us the formulas and honestly you don't need to like I mean if you want to understand it amazing like it's good for you but <laughs> yeah also I think I use ChatGPT a lot now in my work but not to generate like you know a final artwork for me or ideas or whatever like ideas all come from inside you know but uh, i don't want to learn uh, the formulas <laughs> so what i did is i showed him the result that i got and this is the javascript code uh, thanks to evgeny makarov you know who provided it generously uh, i don't know maybe chat could have helped me write this code but well, whatever, I already have it. And so, yeah, ChatGPT said, awesome. <laughs> and it explained what it is. But then I found this article uh, about the Lisa Jush figures. And so I wanted to create this specific figure. And uh, like, it gives you the formula, but if you just type this formula into your JavaScript shape here, it's not gonna work. So <laughs> like, Basically what happened is I just had like some weird shape and then I tell ChatGPT like, hey, like I want to create this, but I <laughs> create this and, you know, like someone who's good with math and uh, formulas, etc. <laughs> might be laughing now and thinking like, hey, like, why are you so dumb? But, you know, like, I don't, I don't know how it works. So it just tell me like, hey, you need to increase these numbers. And that's what I did. And uh, I got this shape. So, yeah, be creative. You can... Uh, try to find like other ideas that you can create with these JavaScript shapes and ask ChatGPT how to, like to explain it, how to do it. Like I also asked about the heart. Uh, I also asked to create the coil and it helped me to edit like, well, first it didn't work. I tell him like, hey, it didn't work. <laughs> Let's fix this. And yeah, basically that's uh, where we got. And that's how I created the squirrels. Uh, all those files I will provide in the description. So I normally, uh, 
sell the project files for a small amount of money to help support this channel. And it's also always provided uh, already, you know, it's already included in my guide if you want to. But yeah, so the idea here is the same. So it's uh, also a JavaScript shape and I just edited the code and I created a text shape and instead of uh, using, you know, the dots to distribute around um, this vertical coil, we are using the letters. So, yeah, and I'm also adding some oscillator on the shape opacity. And you can also animate the path length of the duplicator as I did here to draw the shape. Um, let me see if I can find the other examples of what we can do. So here I basically added an oscillator on the length. So we created this sort of like snaky moves. I don't know if it's a snake <laughs> or something. And then we can also assemble the letters. So here in the beginning, they're just like uh, atoms or something like moving around and then they assemble into the words. That's uh, because we animated the path length. Um, that's one of the ideas here. I just, you know, basically messed up with the numbers on the JavaScript shape and added oscillators. <laughs> and we can also create a spiral graph kind of uh, figures and animate JavaScript. Oh yeah, that's interesting thing. So in the JavaScript shape, obviously we can set some parameters. Uh, so we can create those numbers here, the parameters, and then we'll connect them into our code. So here I'm referencing referencing <laughs> n0 into the, what's that? The radius of the outer gear and the n1 into the radius of the inner gear. And what that does is we can then connect, we can like mess up, we can animate those numbers, we can connect any types of behaviors, utilities, whatever, like whatever you can connect here, you can do it and it will affect the code. So that's the cool part, right? So yeah, almost anything in this code, you can just uh, connect this values, you know, I'm sorry if I'm not explaining this correctly, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, here I just animated the stroke. That's one of the things. <laughs> I don't know, I created this heart. I don't know <laughs> why would you want to use this for, but you know, it is here. And also the coil. So yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. And uh, as I already explained, the files will be in the links and um, the code will be in the links as well. And I hope this helps and gives you some ideas like, uh, to create something of your own and maybe maybe you won't be as scared to use the code as you know maybe you were because it's actually not as difficult as you might imagine you know so yeah as usual leave your comments and tag me on instagram and see you in the next tutorial bye bye